Hi everyone, in this problem we have to find this limit. So when you're computing limits, one of the general strategies that you should always try is you should take this number here, this zero, and plug it in for all your of your x's and see what happens. So if we do that, we get the arctangent of zero over the sine of seven times zero, so just the sine of zero. That'll give us uh, zero over zero, which is uh, indeterminate. So this is called an indeterminate form. It's undefined, but when it comes up in a limit, uh, it's an indeterminate form. Whenever you get one of these, uh, you can use something called L'Hopital's, which basically, basically says you can take the derivative of each piece. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have the limit as x approaches zero. So let's see, the derivative of arctangent is one over one plus x squared. That's a familiar formula, just taking the derivative of the top. And the derivative of sine is cosine, but here it's sine of seven x. So it'll be cosine of seven x times the derivative of the inside, which is seven, that's the chain rule. Okay, at this point we can go ahead and plug in zero. And when we do that, we drop the limit sign. So this is one over one plus zero squared, so that's just zero, over uh, cosine of zero times seven. So again, we took the derivative of arctangent. We got one over one plus x squared, looks good. Took the derivative of the sine of seven x. We got cosine of seven x times seven, right? That's the chain rule, looks good. And then we just plugged in the zero, drop the limit signs. So this is one over, cosine of zero is one. So this is just one over seven, and that should be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck and take care.